When Xcode builds an iOS project, it takes all your compiled Swift code, it takes everything from your asset catalog and any other assets you provide in your project and puts into a single directory called a bundle. It then gives the bundle a name like yourappname.app and that goes off to the App Store. Now this .app extension is automatically recognized by iOS and Apple's other platforms like macOS and VisionOS and similar, which is why in your applications directory on your Mac, you'll have things like note.app. Double click on that, it knows to launch the program inside the bundle. Now in our game, we're gonna include a file inside here called start.txt, which includes over 10,000 eight letter words that will be randomly chosen for the player to work with. This is included in the files for this project on my GitHub repository, github.com slash two straws slash hacking with Swift. You wanna grab the whole thing from there and have the whole zip file and you should have from there this start.txt file in the project 5 files directory. You want that thing. You want to drag this file here into your project navigator like this. Grab this thing. You want to copy items that are needed, create groups and add target word scramble like that. That adds that as an asset for our project to use when the code runs. Now in content view, we added a, a property up here called our root word. This is the word they're trying to spell from. What we want to do is write a new method called start game that will find that file in our bundle start.txt, load it into a string, split it into an array of strings with each element being one word, and then pick one random word from there to assign to root word. Or if somehow it failed, we'll have a sensible default. Each of these tasks corresponds to a single line of code, but there's a twist. What if we cannot locate start.txt inside our app bundle? Or if we can load it, locate it, but we can't load it. Because if it's there, but for some reason it's blocked. In that case, we've got a rather serious problem, right? Because our app is really broken. Either we forgot to include the file somehow, or it's really, really broken. It's, it's corrupt, or our app's corrupt, or who knows what. Or we included it, but iOS has blocked permissions, or who knows what. Regardless of what caused the problem, this is a situation that we can never ever recover from. Like our game will not work if we forgot to include start.txt, right? And Swift gives us a special function called fatal error that lets us respond to unresolvable problems very clearly. When we call fatal error, it will unconditionally always crash our app straight away. It'll just die, not might die or maybe die. It'll just always terminate straight away. I realize that sounds bad, but what it lets us do is very, very important for problems like this one. If we forget to include the critical file for our game here, there's no point trying to make our app struggle onwards in a broken state. It's better to terminate immediately and say, listen, this is not working, crash out now, get our log back so we can correct the problem, and that's exactly what Fatal Error does. Anyway, let's write this out in a new method down here called start game. Step one, we're gonna find the URL for start.txt inside our app bundle. So we'll say if let start words URL is bundle.main dot oh, uh, URL rel for resource with extension. And the file's called start extension txt. If we find that, can we load that file into a string? If let's start words is try question mark, string contents of, uh, of start words URL. If we're here, we've found the file, we've loaded the file. Start words is now a single string. We can now say, we'll make an all words array equal to start words, dot components separated by backslash n, a line break. And now we're gonna pick one random word from there and assign it to the root word value. Remember calling random element on an array returns an optional because the array could have been empty. We know it's not, but it might be. So we'll say our root word is equal to all words dot random element, nil coalescing silkworm, a random eight letter word. Again, that'll never actually be used because the array should be there 
you know, but just in case something's gone hideously wrong. If we made it this far, it means everything worked correctly. We can return. Exit the start game method now. What this means is if we get to here, line 60, it means there's a problem. We couldn't find the file, we couldn't load the file, whatever. Something's gone wrong. So we'll trigger a crash and report the message back. We'll say fatal error with a message of could not load start.txt from bundle. And now we have a method here, start game, that will load everything for the game. We can now just call that when our view is shown. Now SwiftUI gives us a special view modifier just for this purpose. It'll run any function you like when a view is shown. And we can use that to call start game and get things moving. And so up in our view code up here, we have on submit to add new word. I'm gonna write on appear perform start game. When this view is shown, pick a random word. Right now it's demister. Let's press command R. I love doing live stuff. We can get any word here. Let's find out. So what I get now is <laughs> good grief cyclamen. Oh, cyclamen. I don't know what that word means, sorry. Goodness me, I thought it was good English too. Ablating, goodness me, this is non-stop hard words. <laughs> um, rename it, okay, an easy one. Um, the point is, it's now a random eight letter word every time the thing runs, shown up here at the top. Of course, it doesn't mean anything yet because players can still enter whatever word they want to and it's added to the list, but we'll fix that next.